how's it going? It's been said that one of the things that sets successful people apart from the rest of us is the ability to make a decision quickly and to be very slow about changing their mind. But I don't know, somehow in my mind I've got this connected with Henry Ford. Perhaps he said something about it. I've read a lot of books, so I can't really recall where this comes from. But he, he was a guy that knew how to put things together and to build systems that would create a result that he was after. He's one of the people that I really look to as someone to emulate. And there's a story that actually is a true story where around World War I, the editor of a newspaper, I think it was the New York Times, called Henry Ford an ignorant pacifist. Well, of course, Ford didn't like that very much, and he sued the paper for libel, and the case actually went to court. And they, at one point, had Ford on the stand, and he was talking about different things, and the prosecutor had asked him all these really stupid questions, and didn't really matter or make much sense. For instance, he asked him how many soldiers the British sent over to fight us in the Revolutionary War. And Ford said, well, I'm not sure the exact number, but I hear it was a lot more than ever went back. And he went on like this, answering these questions, and finally, after a really offensive question, he, he said, listen, I'm not going to answer that question, and I'm not going to answer any more of your questions. And I'll tell you why, because on my desk, I have a row of buttons. And if I ever have to answer one of these questions, I can push a single button on my desk, and within a few minutes, a man will show up who can give me the answer to any question I ask. So, I don't feel the need to proceed with this any further. Well, of course, the courtroom went crazy, and they dismissed the case, the judge dismissed it, because no matter how you slice it, that is not the answer that an ignorant man would give. That story, and just the story of Ford and what he accomplished, is really inspirational to me. And that's why I wanted to figure out how can I make decisions. I make decisions quickly and I don't change my mind. I had that part down, and yet I want to improve the way I make decisions all the time. So I started studying about it and I have come up with three steps to making any decision and you can be very confident it may not be the best decision based on what you have, but it's going to be a lot better than if you did not follow these steps. Over the next three days, I'm going to go through each of these steps and by the time we're finished, you'll have a very good idea of how to make better decisions and you can implement it immediately. Your decisions will get better on day one. They'll be very good after day four. So keep that in mind and look up something about Henry Ford, his life. He's a very good person to study if you want to learn how to be successful in business. All right, tomorrow is going to be the first installment on decision making. I'll talk about that then. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. I'm out.